All right, welcome. So this is the armor set for today's video, the blue silver armor set. This is it with the cloak, and then this is it without the cloak. This is the back, and this is the back. Personally, I like both. It's very hard to decide, so I just got both. I got two sets so I could have one altered and one unaltered. So in order to get here first, all right, so first piece of the medallion that we need in order to get the armor set. So from the lake shore of Linari, simply hug the wall all the way until you, there will be an entrance down here and you will find the village of the Albinocurus. From here, go up. There'll be a slightly powerful enemy here. Oops. There'll be a slightly powerful enemy here. However, you can just spam them. They are very weak to stun. And then over here, there will be an NPC. You can just kill him or you can talk to him. He'll be disguised as a pot and he'll give you one half of the medallion. In order to get the other half of the medallion, you must go to Castle Soul. Go through, kill the great commander. Did I say great? I mean the absolutely annoying gank fest Commander Neal. After you kill Commander Neal, simply head through and there will be a another half of the medallion. After you get both halves of the medallion, head to the Grand Lift of Rold. Once you get to the Grand Lift of Rold, Head all the way up to our Grand Lift. Instead of doing Hoist, do Secret Hoist. What did I just say? Uh, <laughs> instead of doing Secret Hoist, do Hoist Secret Medallion. So you will hoist the Secret Medallion. Once you get down here, simply run through all the enemies. Also, yes, this armor set does not have shoes. It is a skirt, the pant. Uh, category. The blue silver male skirt has no shoes. So yes, you get frostbite, you get all the splinters and horrible things of not having shoes. But anyways, so after you take it down, simply run past all the enemies. Be careful of the one up there. So simply hug to the right a little bit. Oops. I actually got hit. Keep on running to the grace and then rest at the grace so you lose their aggro. They won't follow you outside but if you got hit it's a good thing to reset. So once you get out here to the consecrated snow field you will not be able to see whatsoever. So simply follow the trail on the floor and the lights that will show up on your right and left. And then eventually you'll find a grace right here. Literally just straight north from the exit of the hidden path. So rest here. It is the consecrated snow field. So from here you'll be heading all the way to the ordinal town of Litigush. Ordina Litigush town. So from here just head straight north. And to show how straight north you literally have to go, I will literally only head straight north. Still just heading straight north. Some enemies might show up but don't worry. Once you hit this rock, go down its left side. And then jump off. Keep heading straight north. Then once you see that light on the ground, you know you've headed in the right direction. On that post right there, there will be a map so then you'll actually be able to see where you're going. So that post where my character's face is, right here, you'll find the map. After that, head to our farming checkpoint which will be all the way up here.
And now we have made it to Ordina's Litigush old town. So once you're here at the town of Litigush, or however you say it, there are two farming paths you can take. So of course make sure you have your item discovery stuff. This is the bad path. I will show you. It's not a bad path, but the extremely difficult path. There will be a bunch of wolves here. And they are tanky. Some of them are very tanky. And as you can see, the archers do quite a ton of damage. And the one all the way on the left side over there will trigger. So you'll be fighting three. This is why I say it is the bad or worst path. As you can see, my character is literally filled with arrows. So we'll be showing you. So I will now show you where I went to farm this armor set which is a whole lot easier. So from the Bond Grace, head straight left to the giant broken down tree, or the only living, one of the few living trees near the camp. Jump off. And there will be one here by himself riding. Kill this one before the other one locks on. Oh, the other one locked on. So after you kill him, depending on how fast you kill him, this guy won't even stand up. Or girl, this one is actually a girl. As you can tell, they have the, um, boob. So yeah, this is the better farming spot, just slightly down southeast from the Grace, by the big tree. There will be one by herself riding the giant wolf. And then the one over here will be sitting down with two very weak wolves. And because she is sitting down, you should be able to kill the one riding the wolf before she even gets to stand up. That way it's a constant 1v1 compared to the other one where it was 1v6 because you're fighting 3 wolves and then 3 archers. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and please like and subscribe. See you next time.